Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Patty Brennan Show. Whether you have $20 million or $20, this show is for those of you who want to protect, grow, and use your assets to live your very best lives. This podcast today is part of an ongoing series called Ask Patty Brennan. And what I thought would be kind of neat would be to go over the master list of goals that we have here at Key Financial. These are the questions that we tend to ask people to really help them articulate what's important to them and remind them that there are many possibilities for a lot of families. So I'm going to go over some of the questions that we ask and the many goals that bubble up for a lot of people. And just remember, there are a lot more than what we're going to be talking about today. So, for example, when it comes to retirement, do you need help in deciding when you want to retire? Would you like to slow down and work part-time, like semi-retire, or do you just want to cut cold turkey? Do you want to take a few sabbaticals every once in a while, kind of have this career that has breaks in between, whether it be jobs or careers? Do you want to feel confident about where you're going to get your stream of income? when you're no longer getting that paycheck. When it comes to your family, do you wanna save for a child or a relative's college education? If you're younger, just getting married, do you wanna have a child or adopt one? What's involved in all of that? And how much is that gonna cost? Do you have any parents or other family members that you want to make sure that you can care for and provide for? And what's involved in all of that? When it comes to your own personal goals and your self-development goals, Do you want to get some advanced education or certifications for professional reasons? If so, what's practical and what could that entail? Are you looking for professional advancement, like a new job or even a whole new career? Those of you who have been watching me and who know me know that I didn't start out as a financial planner. I was a nurse. So what was involved in that transition? And how did we work within the confines of having a family, buying a home, and changing careers? That might be something that all of you or many of you are considering, especially after the pandemic. Um, You know, you've probably heard or read articles about this thing they're calling the great attrition, people leaving their jobs. I'd like to reframe that and call that the great attraction. In other words, instead of leaving something, what do you want to go to? Let's talk about that and really drill down in terms of what might be required. There's a practical side to everything, and we want to keep you moving forward and keep it real as well. When it comes to your assets and your loans, your debt, do you want to reduce, let's talk about assets first, your portfolio. Do you want to reduce the volatility in your portfolio? We've had a great few years. Who knows whether that will continue? And if it doesn't, will you still be okay? Are you tired of the ups and downs of markets? Because unfortunately, that's probably going to continue. If you tone that part down, what does that mean for your financial future? Do you want to find ways to increase your cash flow or maybe just improve it? How do you improve cash flow? Boy, that sounds great, but how do you do that? You do that by paying attention to not just the big things, but also the little things along the way. Do you want to save more? Do you want to just find that extra money on a monthly basis that you know is being allocated to the things that are most important in your life? For example, do you want to kind of begin to think about a second home or maybe, you know, moving into a different home or location? Some people, a lot of people are thinking about downsizing And when they start looking around, they realize that downsizing doesn't mean it's going to be any less expensive. So we're referring to that as maybe just right-sizing. What does that look like in your personal situation? Are you planning to move, period? Uh, Do you want to move to a different state? What are the income tax ramifications if you do so? When it comes to tax planning, this is something that, you know, we always want to reduce unnecessary taxes. That's an important goal in and of itself. So let's kind of keep that top of mind throughout the year. Lots of things that might occur to give you those opportunities to save money on taxes. And unfortunately, if you wait until the end of the year, it's often too late. And by the time most of us go to our CPAs, the year's already done. Can't do anything about it. So 
When it comes to saving money on taxes, just keep that top of mind as an important goal. When it comes to health care, what are your insurances? You know, I've talked in the past about this productive paranoia. If this happens, what are you going to do and what do you have to safeguard your financial assets and your peace of mind? At the end, everybody, that's what this is really all about. It's about peace of mind and always feeling like you're moving forward. It's progress. That's what financial planning is all about. Let's measure and monitor and make sure that over time you've got that wonderful sense of well-being, that peace of mind, and that feeling like you really are making progress. But it can't be something intangible. It's got to be measured. At least that's the way that I like to approach these things. So as you think about goals, the things that I've talked about just now, that's just a few of the goals that might apply to your situation. There's 52 of them all together. If you want to know what the other ones are, go to our website at keyfinancialinc.com. We've got this master list of goals. Just click on the podcast. It'll print right out. And it just allows you to think about the possibilities. It'll trigger those conversations with your spouse, the people that you care about, the people that are going to be working with you to accomplish them. That includes your advisor, your tax professional, your attorney. And when you have these goals, these objectives, and they're on a list, it's just amazing what happens. All of a sudden, that problem solving, that creative part of our brains begins to work and you start making progress to accomplishing them. That's what this is all about. So thanks so much for taking the time today to listen to just some of the master list of goals that you and everyone can have. I'm Patty Brennan from Key Financial. Again, feel free to go to our website at keyfinancialinc.com. And if you have any ideas or things that you'd like to hear about, many of the podcasts, a lot of the topics that we've been talking about are as a result of people who went to our website and asked the questions, can you talk about A, B, and C? And I will tell you, the list is incredible. And these are great ideas that we wouldn't have even thought of if these people hadn't written in. So thanks to all of you who have. And thanks again for tuning in today. I'm Patty Brennan, and have a great day.